this is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, December 11th, through this coming Sunday, December 17th, 2023. All goodness originates within you. We may feel we need others or a specific mix of events or experiences to make us feel whole, but that's an illusion, an illusion that's perpetuated by our ego to keep us feeling trapped. When we go out into the world led by our expectations, we are certain to feel let down or disappointed. Our expectations tend to be a list of things we wish others or an outside experience to provide for us. And, you know, we are addressing deeply personal emotional needs here. We're addressing the emotional well within you that seeks to be filled and satiated. We're not discussing your outer persona of achievement or professional accomplishment. We want to give you insight into your heart's desires that define the deep need that you feel define you and complete you. These are what is given to you by your soul. These are the things no one can take from you. This is your innate true essence. When you reach outside of yourself in an attempt to get someone else to meet your core heart needs, you'll feel unsatisfied. You'll encounter things that aren't complete and are confusing, hence why you don't get your needs met. Inside, within your core, in your heart, in your soul center, is absolutely everything you need for true heart and soul emotional satisfaction. And yes, it takes time, practice, patience, and perseverance to connect within to your true self. It takes also some rewiring and some reprogramming because we're raised to go out and get our needs met go out and find someone to take care of us, go out and find other things to take care of our emotional needs. But no one is responsible for your personal emotional needs, just as you are not responsible for anyone else's. This is a tough idea to wrap our head around at times, but it's true and this single truth can heal and repair relationships. All goodness is within you. You are the source of every happiness, peace, love, kindness, generosity. It all starts with you. So treat yourself as the most valuable, precious, amazing, incredible being in existence because you are in every moment. Give yourself happiness and peace and love and kindness and generosity. Set the example with you. It starts with you and then it will radiate out from you to others and that is the ultimate of successful emotional self-awareness. You know how wonderful it feels to find yourself in great energy, energy that's abundant and fulfilling and filled with love and harmonic balance. Well, it starts within you and then you can recognize it wherever you go. All goodness originates within you. We're here, we're here to assist you to come into your best alignment, to help you connect with your emotional balance, to answer any questions you have about your life and your happiness. 
you can get your specific guidance to build upon these weekly messages and make your life path very rewarding. Yeah, let's have a reading. <laughs> if you're curious about a reading, all the information is on my website, spiritpathways.net. And if you have any questions beyond what's on my website, there are contact forms on every page. You can get in touch with me. I will personally answer you and answer your questions about a reading. I also teach this amazing deck and that's the tarot reader certification course. It's also all on my website. Um, and it's called the tarot reader certification course. Because not only do I teach you the cards and the deck, I teach you how to do spreads, how to tune in. One of the most important things in working with any of this energy is to learn how to tune in. Tune in to your own council of guides and how to give really, really accurate readings for people. And at the end of the course, you get a certification that says you can do this <laughs> and you can use that professionally. So it's very worth your while to learn this deck, even if you don't ever plan to use it professionally. If you know this deck, this particular deck, you can use any tarot deck because they all originate with this message. And then you can do readings for yourself. All right, here we go. The Knight of Pentacles. We are starting with stability. That's the Knight of Pentacles. They are on a quest for stability, for security, for safety, for all those things that will grow, money that will grow, health that will improve, your material world that will improve, the value of your life fulfillment that grows and improves. Starting out giving you this security this week, the very first card. Here's your security, here's your stability. But <laughs> to maintain that, you've gotta do things a little bit differently. This nine of wands says you keep fighting the same battles. You keep doing the same things but you're not getting the results that you want. You're just getting battle weary. So think about how you've been going about those long-term things in your life, how you approach your money, how you approach your profession, how you approach your health, how you approach your relationships. Is there something that could improve, <laughs> something that could change? This card is telling you that there is. And the lovely two of cups says there's someone to help you with this. This is a card of exchange and of assist uh, blah, 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 and of assistance in accomplishing things and getting to where you are. If you're in a relationship, this is a card of relationships improving that one relationship improving. This is just two people, you and someone else. So a lovely card there also of relationship stability. So this card, the 10 is similar to this nine of wands here. And I think this card has come up for us a few times in the past few weeks in our weekly reading. The 10 of wands says you're carrying burdens and that those burdens don't belong to you. So it's time to drop them. That's your only choice here. Stop carrying the burdens. Stop carrying other people's problems and other people's dysfunctions and other people's things that they need to do. Stop that. <laughs> Just drop those burdens so you can be free to address your own life, to allow your own happiness. The card in the middle this week is the sun. Oh, the sun is a very straightforward card. It's about your happiness. It's about maintaining your happiness. It's about the gratitude and the appreciation for your happiness, the recognition 
of your happiness, even if it's one little tiny thing, recognize it so it can grow and make sure to have boundaries with anyone that interferes with your happiness. They, you deserve this true and completely for yourself. And now strength is a perfect card to follow that happiness because strength is reminding you, you aren't going to be given anything you can't handle. Any challenges that come your way are learning experiences. They're not there to topple you and overwhelm you. They are there to make you stronger and wiser. And so taking that experience and using it to align your life in ways that make you happy, ways that make you more effective and, and abundant. So lovely balance there. We had the Knight of Pentacles up here, then the Burdens, and now we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, while the Knight of Pentacles is all about your stability and your security and the growth of that, the Knight of Wands is all about change. Let's change these things that have been holding you back. Let's change them. Let's get into alignment with movement that is forward momentum, movement that is taking us where we want to be. That's the Knight of Wands. And yes, something might have happened that really upset you. You might have had a loss somewhere. You might have lost a job or a loved one or just some experience or circumstance that mattered to you could have ended. And so this card is recognizing that and it's telling you, you need to heal from that loss. And that's fine. It's also telling you not to get stuck in the past when you had that thing, because now is where you are here. Now focus on the happiness, focus on what's good here now, because today and forward is your life and your momentum and your true happiness and your true stability. The last card, the Ace of Cups, what a beautiful card to end with. This is the beginning of that love, the beginning of your creativity, the beginning of your spiritual growth, your spiritual path, and those things increasing, those things becoming more and more aware in your life and useful in your life. Fantastic energy. This year is coming to a close. 2023, we only have a few more weeks, two more weeks, <laughs> two and a half more weeks. And so this is powerful energy for your alignment for the new year, your alignment of what to whom you are becoming and what you want to enjoy next, the forward movement, the forward momentum. So think about that. Think about these messages. Think about all the wondrous, amazing things within you. You are perfect, whole, and complete. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.